Snow leopards are native to the snowy mountain ranges of Central and South Asia. They are considered vulnerable by the IUCN, as there are thought to be fewer than 10,000 left in the wild. This population is expected to decline by around 10% by 2040. Their numbers are in decline due to hunting for their fur, persecution from farmers, a loss of habitat, and climate change. They are shy creatures that are infamously difficult to spot in their natural habitat. Because of this, scientists find it difficult to determine precise population figures. They live for 15 to 18 years in the wild, mate in the winter, and birth their litter of two to three cubs in the spring. They are known for living in harsh conditions at high altitudes in places like the Himalayas. But could they survive elsewhere on Earth? Here, we ask the question, could snow leopards survive in Antarctica? Antarctica is the largest desert on Earth. Although it is covered in ice and snow, it has an annual precipitation of just 200 millimeters, or 8 inches on the coast, and much less further inland. There is little in the way of vegetation, and only a few species of animals live there. It is considered one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. But snow leopards are adapted to harsh environments. To determine whether they could survive in the frozen southern continent, we need to consider the snow leopard's diet and habitat. Firstly, diet. Snow leopards predominantly hunt wild sheep and goats. These include Himalayan blue sheep, Himalayan tar, Siberian ibex, markhor, and wild goat. These prey species are typically within the weight range of 36 to 76 kilograms, or 79 to 168 pounds, but they also hunt smaller animals to sustain them. These can include macaques, marmots, pikas, rats, and voles. They are capable of capturing many of the mammalian species in their ranges. They silently stalk their prey, aiming to get within close proximity before pouncing and biting their neck. They are fast and agile, bounding across steep mountainsides in pursuit of their prey. Their long tails, which can grow over a meter long, help them to keep their balance when traveling at high speeds and making tight turns. Typically, they hunt larger animals once every 8 to 10 days and consume them slowly over a few days. They can cause problems for farmers in the Himalayas, as they sometimes turn to domestic livestock when times are hard. They have been reported entering a corral and killing multiple animals in one go, wreaking havoc on people's livelihoods. Snow leopards are also known to eat vegetation. This mostly consists of grass and twigs. In Antarctica, vegetation is sparse. Where the inland ice sheet lies four kilometers thick, there is no substrate for vegetation to grow. But there are areas of exposed rock and soil. Conditions are generally milder along the coastline and towards the west. Lichens, bryophytes, algae, and fungi all manage to grow in Antarctica. There are also two species of flowering plants along the Antarctic Peninsula. However, none of these species would be considered edible for the snow leopard. But snow leopards are mostly carnivorous. So what animals could be on the menu for snow leopards living in Antarctica? Mammals that frequent Antarctica include whales and seals. The whales are migratory traveling to northerly warmer waters for mating and calving. They only need to return to Antarctica's feeding grounds between April and November. However, these huge marine mammals would not be targets for the snow leopards. In fact, no marine animals are typically prey for snow leopards. The big cats would have to adapt their hunting techniques to take advantage of the food sources on offer. In the Arctic, polar bears wait patiently at the entrance to seal breathing holes in the ice. When the seal emerges, the bears pounce. Although snow leopards are opportunistic hunters, they are unlikely to be able to capture whales or seals on Antarctica's coastline. Seals swimming in the frozen seas off Antarctica are protected from the cold by a thick layer of blubber. In the Arctic, it is this fat that is highly sought after by polar bears. They can eat 45 kilograms of blubber in a single sitting. They rely on it to insulate their own bodies and provide them with long-term energy for leaner times ahead. When food is plentiful, polar bears will sometimes only eat the skin and blubber of a seal, while some predators, used to hunting these marine species, rely on blubber in their diet. It is not something that snow leopards are used to. The big cats spend three or four days consuming the entire carcass of a kill, eating every few hours until nothing is left. The composition of polar marine animals may not be suited to snow leopards. 
Antarctic animals are significantly different from mountainous animals, such as the wild sheep and goats hunted in the Himalayas. The other animals that could be considered prey for snow leopards in Antarctica are penguins. There are estimated to be around 20 million breeding pairs of penguins in Antarctica. Of the 17 species of penguins found worldwide, there are just seven that live in and around Antarctica and its islands. But snow leopards aren't adapted for hunting these flightless birds. Although they are slow and cumbersome on land, once they enter the water, their streamlined bodies allow them to swim with great speed and agility. Using their white fur as camouflage against the white landscape, snow leopards would be able to sneak up on their prey in Antarctica before pouncing. However, we do not believe that snow leopards could survive on the food available to them in the Antarctic. It is just too different. The climate and habitat are incredibly unforgiving across the Antarctic continent. No indigenous humans live there, and it is only visited by tourists and scientists for short periods of time. It is the driest, coldest, and windiest place on Earth. The icy plateau in eastern Antarctica can drop to minus 144 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 98 degrees Celsius. Snow leopards live in alpine meadows, which are too cold and windy to support tree growth. The tundra is barren and bleak. In the summer, they live above the tree line, sometimes at altitudes higher than 19,000 feet or 6,000 meters. When winter sets in, they descend to lower altitudes around 6,000 feet or 2,000 meters. Despite living in high altitudes, snow leopards don't seem to have a particular adaptation for coping in the thin air. Scientists initially thought that they may have more efficient hemoglobin in their blood compared to other big cats such as lions that live at lower altitudes. However, this was not the case. It seems they survive by taking deep breaths into their large chest cavity and using their wide nostrils to warm the cold air. They are adapted to broken, rocky terrain, using the boulders and rock faces to conceal themselves when hunting for prey. Their agility matches that of the alpine sheep and goats they hunt, bounding over rocks and climbing along cliff edges. Antarctica's McMurdo Dry Valley are rocky and mountainous, but they are uninhabitable. There hasn't been rainfall there for over two million years. Only some bacteria have been found in the valleys living within the rocks or under the glacier. Not only is Antarctica the driest continent on Earth, but it is also the highest. The average elevation is 2,000 meters above sea level. This is due to a combination of elevated bedrock and incredibly thick snow and ice. The mountains consist of numerous peaks above 4,000 meters, particularly along the transatlantic mountain range. Mount Vinson, Antarctica's highest peak is situated along the Antarctic Peninsula to the west. It stands at 4,892 meters or 16,050 feet above sea level. Snow leopards can move easily through deep snow. Their paws are large and covered with fur acting like snowshoes. This stops them from sinking into the snow, keeps their feet warm, and makes their footprints silent when they hunt. But they are drawn to the snowy conditions by their prey. In Antarctica, most wildlife is located along the coastline and can escape into the sea if they feel threatened. While snow leopards are adapted to the cold, with fur that is 12 centimeters long on their underbelly, a long tail to wrap around for warmth, and furry feet, the dramatic temperatures in Antarctica may be too much for them. Their noses are broad, with wide nostrils to suck huge volumes of air in at high altitudes and to warm it before entering their lungs. However, Despite their adaptations to a cold climate, we believe that Antarctica is too inhospitable for snow leopards to survive. There isn't enough prey of the right species to sustain them, and the conditions are too adverse. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.